everyone, welcome to our episode of SRB Gaming. I am Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the Worldwide Gameplay Reveal Trailer, or whatever you want to call it, for Far Cry 6. Now, this game, of course, from Ubisoft, was supposed to come out in February. It got delayed. It's now coming out this fall, instead. Now, I won't spoil what they, they do reveal the official date, but it is this fall. They confirmed that. I've even seen what the collection edition looks like, which is okay. interesting. Uh, but this is, the, of course, the sixth title in the series. Um, big, the big hook, like with all the other hooks, is the main villain. And, of course, in this one, the main hook is that the main bad guy is being played by Giancarlo Esposito. Great actor. Of, of uh, mainly Breaking Bad fame. And, yeah, um, one of the reasons we're do still doing this is... You've actually played a Far Cry game. That's the reason. Yeah, one Far Cry game. You played Far Cry Four. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I still want to play. I still want to play another Far Cry, uh, 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 Far Cry game. You know, but uh, it won't be probably. Be, luckily, it won't be in the same. Yeah, uh, like Four. You, you said was good. I know Five wasn't very well received. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, story-wise, five wasn't very well received, but um. And then the halfway one, the one was like prehistoric time. That was like. Lightly and now we're at six. So yeah. from what we got of the initial uh, trailer during the Ubisoft forward last year, yeah. last year was that you are a uh, looks like a resistance fighter trying to take down a dict the dictator played by Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah. So it's gonna be very interesting how uh, you know what route they're gonna take is gonna be one, another one of those. Oh, you gotta take over certain districts or you know like you know classic like open world games. You have to unlock certain things. I mean. Now what did you? Oh, go on. Go, go on. ahead. Oh, what did you like about Far Cry 4? I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. I mean, it's definitely an open world type of game. They really made it to where it's like, you can either, especially, you know, and if you wanted to just finish the game, like, immediately, right away, it's like you can do that right in the beginning of the game. You can easily just beat the game and that's it. Yeah, that was a clever little Easter egg. You know, it was a cool little Easter egg. Um, you know, but it's, it, it's, again, it's one of those open world games where it's like, of course, you have to unlock certain things or you know it's like unlock certain areas so you can have access to this map or this or that but just the, I guess the freedom that you have I mean it's like compared to like Grand Theft Auto this is more like the first person but this is like more set in a set a certain setting and things like that's how I see it you know where it's like it's like you know you could do whatever you want have fun with it you know kill whoever and stuff like that but I enjoyed it you know I, I enjoyed it for what it, what it is and stuff like that um, but you know, it's like there are times when it's like you may have to change some things up. So I want to know what will make this one stand out. Besides, you know, of course, the main antagonist, and you know, who's, who's playing it. But, like, what's going to, what's the standout going to be? Are they going to change up a little bit, maybe the way you do certain things or maybe unlock certain things or certain areas? I mean, what's the really hook into this game besides just the actor? That's what I'm hoping to get out of this gameplay here. Yeah. You know, and that's why, I, you know, and like I said, it's, I just want to see what's going to make it different uh, from the others. What's yeah. going to be the standout for it overall? Okay. But that's, yeah. That's all I got. I don't, I, I sorry. Don't. Sorry, I, 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 didn't, I, know, I, didn't, I didn't know if you were, uh, if you were leading off into that. I didn't know. But let's just dive into this. Um, it says here it's 40 minutes, but who knows? Maybe they, it's like, we may end early because we don't know if it's just extra footage from like uh, somebody else playing it for a little while. They discuss with a maybe interviewer, who knows. But uh, if it is the full 40 minutes, then... We're on for a long ride, and it feels like they really want to show every little detail, or at least show everything that you could probably do in this game, just because it's someone coming out so soon, and they haven't had a regular trailer come out before. Yeah. So let's dive into this again for the Far Cry 6 Worldwide, well, at the moment it was, Worldwide Gameplay Reveal. So here we go. Look, guns. Far Cry's all about guns, right? Ooh, the new thing, you can saw the original. Ooh. I wonder if it's an original. Yeah. Senor Presidente, what can true yarns do to serve Yara? True yarns have long memories. We remember how so-called civilized nations treated us when we needed the most. Are you concerned about the terroristas who call themselves Libertad? Jesus Christ. Una and just smile. 
has, it looks a good fit. You're an orphan, see? I do want to run. Remember that? Castillo has kept you an orphan. I only see you. So why are you here? I watched Castillo order a home full of our people shot to death. And I want to know who's going to help me take him down. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So you see. You've got, what, 300,000 troops? I count sticks, burnt out guerillas, and you, with a bullet to the leg. You can shoot, so shoot. You have troops. You might kill, but you're no killer. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? Everything I don't know is perfect. I'm not like that guy with any of this. Whoa! That usually work. 50 50. 50 50. Yeah. Okay. Horses! Nice. Ooh. I know exactly who you are. I am nothing like you. Oh, you remember there was such a connection. Chavari, narrative director of Far Cry 6. It's the, the RCA, I'm so I do excited story. to represent <laughs> our team and finally show you our game in action. With Far Cry 6, we're going to throw you into our most ambitious open world yet. Yara. They shot and he's ambitious. The heart of the Caribbean. Filled with rich, tropical ecosystems alongside okay, decaying okay. urban landscapes. Gamey Yara is terms. an island of contrasts. Isolated and frozen in time, for over 50 years after a violent revolution cut it off from the rest of the world, it now finds itself on the verge of collapse. Last year, we introduced you to Yara's Presidente, Anton Castillo, with an amazing performance by Giancarlo Esposito. Hey, Castillo must be a lion, for Yara is full of lions. The reception we've had to Anton and Diego has been yeah, incredible, really we're and we're playing just it. We're getting playing started. The daughter. Anton is a man hell-bent on returning Yara to his idea of its former glory. And while his motivations are far more complex than they seem, the cost That's of his vision the the will be paid in blood. If a dog refuses to break, then we must put them down. To achieve his dream for Yara and his son Diego, Anton has clamped down on freedoms, instituted brutal social reforms, and cast anyone who speaks out against him into forced labor. Jeez. His oppression of the Yaran people has pushed the island to the brink of revolution. When tyranny is law, revolution is order. Yara, once considered a jewel of the Caribbean, is now a powder keg. And you are the match. Cool, I will be on match. Your name is Danny Rojas, and you'll experience the revolution through Danny's eyes right from the beginning. I think it's the first time you've been in Yara's capital city. You're a young so. military dropout who wants nothing to do with Anton or the revolution. You just want to get the hell out of Yara. Yeah, I won't blame her. Face to face with Anton's brutality, you realize that the only chance to live free is to lead an army of guerrillas into That's a new revolution. That's the other revolution. thing that I noticed, too. Very soul of you the actually island. really focus, they're actually you focusing on the protagonists. Remember, before it was just mm -hmm. kind of a faceless person, journey, in a way. You'll get to pick your identity More and customize yeah. your look while you navigate the Oh, you can switch between customize yourself. Gender. Every aspect one. of the game has been developed with the goal to make you feel like a guerrilla fighter, battling an asymmetric war against Anton and his army. The guerrilla fantasy is all about making one guerrilla feel like a thousand. Embracing this was at the core of how we crafted our gameplay. Jesus our Christ, role, look at that. And thing. the characters you'll meet along the way. In Yara, you'll find other guerrillas black market dealers, and everyday yarns who each have their own oh, reasons for joining the cause, including our friendly gorilla Juan Cortez. 
a master of invention, an architect of revolution. He's our guerrilla teacher. Ooh. And class starts now. Now. <laughs> so yeah, they're maybe giving more of an emphasis on the protagonist. Yeah. A lot more of a heavy emphasis on that. They didn't really do that well, in the boy, you listen. Rule 16. The Guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. So we're looking at the same test? bar Max Payne was at, the, you know, the Max you Payne. Gave it away, this is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. <laughs> Okay. Rule number one. A good guerrilla is a hit guerrilla. Puerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. We lead our operations in secret camps across the country. Here, so, is it third person or first person? Or it's above. Oh, it's crazy. It's because of storytelling. We go in our people kill whoever gets in our way. By smuggling in supplies. We'll add some piss and fire to our movement. You got that right. Camp chef, black market dealers. These safe havens got everything a guerrilla needs. Okay. You even do it yourself vehicles. Mm -hmm. I like it more variety. It's me and in the vehicles and the weapons. You each you go. Rule number two. Yeah. A good guerrilla masters their environment. This land is your home. Christopher, what are you doing in this game? I'm sure it's you know right. every creature. <laughs> Ah, uh, boy, there, uh, across goes back. Shorelines, dead end towns, and our friendly capital city. How you get around is up to you. Of course, back. You want to play safe? Oh, yeah. Take our secret paths carved in the dirt of old revolutions. Hola, Nani. How you doing? Or take a risk and operate in plain sight of Castillo's assholes. Go ahead and hide your weapons to blend in. Oh, you can actually... Lives. What do you got? Mm -hmm. Sabotage. Interceptions. You don't always need to be a loudmouth, Danny. Christmas trees? Do you even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente won the Maria's new face? Yeah! <laughs> the fucking Christmas tree. I wouldn't believe that shit for a second. Fucked up situations call for fucked up solutions. Hey, he's not here. You expect the reinforcements? I got news for you. For an army of one against an army of thousands. It's a shield so dance every clever. We make use of whatever we have. We oh yeah, that, it would always extremely way of healing yourself. That means absolutely everything. Sardine cans. Oh, well, hell. He's in this game. Into old motorcycle engines have been built into equipment. Holy shit. Some very unique deadly weapons. Jeez. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I was a little curious about. Each one will make you feel and fight with the power of a goddamn guerrilla army. You may live. I'm gonna make you feel the dark. Get a stick, make a switch. You're a switch. I am a rat. You and I both know. You want this. For a guerrilla. For a guerrilla. The shit my pants rush when I'm pushed. It tastes of sweet victory. Yeah, it's great. It's great, baby. Tyrants. Planes, trains, automobiles. So there you have it. Far Cry 6 will be available on October 7th on PC and consoles. We hope you enjoyed this first glimpse of gameplay. We have a lot more coming soon that we can't wait to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, we have See you next time. I have more to show. I know, right? <laughs>
Okay, so well, give me your thoughts. No, it looks fantastic. Um, they're, they're, I like how they're changing things up where it's like, like you said, now they're focusing more on the protagonist of who you're playing. Um, you know, I created whatever, you know, you can change the gender whether it's female or male. Yeah. You know, um, you definitely you definitely uh, set up whatever you want to look like. Because before, like you said, it was always about, you know, you're always playing this guy, this person, uh, this guy that was always speechless pretty much, but it was always telling the story around him. Right. Here, it's like now he's more, uh, the character you're playing is more involved. Uh, than you realize, or even the people that you're that you're working with realize. Um, okay, that's the collector's edition. You literally get a replica flamethrower. <laughs> it's about two feet long, apparently. It's about two feet long. I'm afraid to ask how much it's gonna be. I I say two hundred. Dude, fucking psych. I called it, man. I said two hundred. I said I'm like I'm calling it two hundred. Yeah, it's like a little over two feet long and stuff. Um. Okay, based on what I've seen of other Far Cry games, I guess the most notable thing to say is this has not only has very unique weapon weapon designs overall. This not only has very unique weapon designs overall, but you also got uh, extremely customizable weapons for the looks of things. Yeah. Uh, they're definitely put. One thing I noticed from here is that they're definitely putting more of a heavy emphasis on the main character you're playing, not just because I know there there was time where yes they did tell who you're playing. But this one, they're really putting the emphasis on like who you're playing. Who you're yeah. playing. It looks like you can swap between genders. You can be female or male. Yeah, yeah. It's either male or female you could play uh, in this, and you could customize their look and everything. Yeah, and overall, just I like that. I mean, the different types of vehicles. Uh, uh, kind of going back to more of what made the original Far Cry great, which was like the tropical areas and stuff like that. Um, of course, solid work with making the attacks to Carlos Esposito. Good work on there. Um, yeah, it looks good. And, you know, that's what's great about these Far Cry games is you don't necessarily have had to play the previous Far Cry. No, because Far Cry. there's no connection between each one of them. It's, yeah. just, it's just a matter of how you play it, a matter of how I you mean, go through it. I mean, if anything, this gave me vague Just Cause vibes, but other than, it's because of the setting, but other than Yeah, that, what, what I'm noticing, like you said, I think what I'm noticing a lot with what they're showing off is just, the customization. That's the key in this, is that how far you can customize not only your character, but also the vehicles and things like that, but also weapons and things. It's all about customization in this trailer. That's what this was. It's showing, goal, it's showing off gameplay, but it's mainly talking. It's mainly showing the customization you can do with anything and everything. Mm -hmm. I think in the next video that they release or anything like that, I think we're going to dive into more of like, you know, missions or how this is you know, are there going to be like, oh, unlockable areas or something like that? You can't go in this area because of this or that, you know? It's like, uh, that's why The I'm Christmas worried. streets. Oh my God, the fucking Christmas streets. Yeah. Um, oh, I do like how it's like you can, it was at a uh, hide your gun pretty much. It's like you're, you keep it hidden, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like when you see like, you know, the, the presence of police or army, it's yeah. like you hide that, you, you know, you sheath your gun. I'm curious to see how involved the uh, alligator, Rota Croc gets involved. Mm -hmm. I love that scene where it's, you know how to whistle? Yeah, whistles, attacks a random dude behind her. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, oh, yeah. That guy did. Uh, but, you know, that's what this was. This was just showing off a lot of the customization. The CD launcher. Play Macarena. The, we the, we the weapons. Like I said, the, from weapons modifications or customizations to the vehicles to the even, like I said, your character yourself. That's what this was kind of showing off. Um, the gameplay overall looks, it looks pretty much really good. Um, don't know, you know, it, it looks like it's definitely playing off the next-gen consoles, that's what it feels like. Um, but it looks good, like I said, I, I'm enjoying it so far, I just want to see a little bit more, probably like, more of like, the map, well, or more of like, how it Well, of course, we already know, and I'm going to bring this up in the end of the exam video, of course, we already know, uh, Ubisoft 4 will, well, Ubisoft will be having their forward presentation for E3, so we'll probably get a full gameplay walkthrough of that. Much like they usually do with the Assassin's Creed games and stuff like that. They'll do a gameplay walkthrough. Mm -hmm. Probably like a gameplay like showing a certain area and stuff like that and what you can do and things like that. So, look, you're probably looking forward to that as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks dope. It looks like they're learning from their mistakes of the, of the previous game. And, mm -hmm. like... They're really making this more stand out, uh, you know, made the truck. They really got to make this stand out because like, not only, again, for the, you have, you're dealing with the next gen consoles, but it's like, what, you know, it's like, what can we do to really grab people's attention? Besides, you know, the antagonist play, being played by this actor, you know, it's like, who, you know, what, what else can we add into this? And I can tell here, it's like, uh, showing off for like, there's going to be a lot. It's like, they want to add a lot more customization compared to the other Far Cry games. A lot of the other Far Cry games, you, you didn't really 
have too much customization. It was yeah. like it was just like okay, you know, you're given this and that's it. Yeah. Here it's like okay, you can develop whatever you want, you know, to make right. it through. And it, that's why I think that's what we're trying to they're trying to pull off here. And like I said, I just want to see more of you know how are things going to play out for like okay, what type of missions are we going to have or. Do we have to unlock certain I think, areas? I think in that front, it's probably going to usually like suspect because of Far Cry games. Uh, meeting unique people, doing missions for them, starting the revolution, things like Is that. They, are they going to change the way we unlock areas compared to like, oh, you have to defeat this tower or this or that, just to, you know, yeah. take control yeah, of Yeah, but like I said, overall, looks good. Definitely looks like that they're just, just fixing the mistakes from a previous Far Cry game. So other than that, if you need a channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about video games, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. And definitely make sure you keep an eye on this channel when uh, a lot of the E3 stuff starts to fully take it, take full control pretty much. And we start uh, try handling as much as we can, as quickly as we can to get currently, our out there. And this is a heads up recap on that. Currently we have six things we're planning on doing for the E3 coverage including a Summer Games Fest kickoff show, the Xbox Bethesda press conference shenanigans, extravaganza, or whatever you want to call it, uh, the Ubisoft Forward, the fourth thing I'm forgetting off the top of my head, but I'm going to look at my phone right now to look because I totally forgot, and I'm going to keep talking until I figure out this list. Nintendo, well, I mean, we, we haven't got a full announcement for Nintendo just yet, but... Okay, here it goes. Yeah. Okay, so, Summer Games Fest, Ubisoft Forward, Xbox Showcase, the Nintendo E3, oh, it's actually five things. Nintendo E3 Direct and a Square Enix presentation. Five things, actually. Technically five things. Six, because we just like going one step You never know. Well, yeah, because we don't know where, if there's any surprises coming out of the Woodworks area. And yeah, we don't know. Sony's not going to be there, and they'll probably have planned stuff, but you want to finish the rest of your usual? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let us know what you guys thought of uh, this gameplay trailer. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you have fun with it? Um, if you're a fan of the franchise for Far Cry, what makes this one stand out more than the others uh, for you and your own personal uh, uh, liking? I mean, uh, is it something that you definitely wouldn't mind checking out or do you want to see more gameplay like you know, you know, like me where it's like it looks promising, it looks great, but I want to see a bit more whether it's, you know, uh, you know more of like you know how do you unlock stuff or how all this other a bunch of other things that, you know like uh, you know the maps or this or that I mean let us know in the comments down below uh, you know you know if your anticipation's high or you keep your check you try to keep your anticipations low for now just because of the you know how the last Far Cry game did um, uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall uh, for this gameplay reveal trailer but most importantly we thank you for watching and of course guys on the next episode of SRB Gaming we already just brought up. Stay tuned for all of our E3 2021 coverage. And also keep an eye out for uh, my playthrough for Bayonetta, the first game. Yeah, because we also do regular stuff as Let's well involving place, video yeah. games. But until next time, though, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has, of course, been a very Far Cry-filled episode of SRB Gaming. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.